Hi guys, so Kitty has decided she wants to be involved in this video. Hello Kitty. I've only got 10 weeks left of my pregnancy and those of you who follow me on social media may already know um, I've been diagnosed with gestational diabetes. I am hoping that I'll be able to control it all with diet and that baby won't get massively big and everything can go as normal but I'm also aware that a lot of the time gestational diabetes pregnancies do result in being brought on early. Someone I know, for example, went in yesterday, six weeks early, to be brought on because of her gestational diabetes. So yeah, while I'm hoping that it will go fine, I think I need to get myself organised now, just in case, because these ten weeks could quite easily be halved. So yeah, scary thought. So I've started to put a changing bag together. It's not by any means finished, I've still got a few little bits to add. But I am popping a few items in here ready and I love this changing bag so I thought I would share with you what I've got in here so far, what I've got left to put in here and then you guys can let me know if I've forgotten anything because <sighs> my head, it's just in the shed at the moment so yeah there's big chances that I've forgotten things. The changing bag is the Packapod, this is the Richmond one in pink heron bone. And, oh, it's dreamy. I love it. The print is beautiful. It's got normal carry handle, then an adjustable strap that can go cross body, also handy for slinging over the push chair. And it also comes with these pram clips as well, which is very handy. And it came with this little packer case too. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So why do I love the packer pod so much? So this side, it is for me. So I've got this bit here, super handy for things that I need to grab, purse and whatnot. And then, I've also got this big part of the bag here. In here, you have a key clip, which is stretchy several inner compartments for mobile phones and stuff, a zip compartment and then quite a big compartment there to pop other things in for me. And then on the front or the back of the bag, depends on how you look at it, is the baby side. So this part you open up and there are two pods inside. Now, you've also got a little insert there that you can put things in. And then, yeah, you've got two pods. So the pods, one is the changer pod and one is the feeder pod. It's clipped into the bag. You just unclip them like so. Now these clips on them you can also use these on the push chair if you want to. In the changer pod, there's a changing mat. This comes with the bag as standard. Nice size. And it's nice and padded. And the bag then, it's really well labelled actually. So in the pod, there's a little safety pin there, meaning that this is where you keep your nappies. And I'm just like, teeny tiny new poor baby nappies. I would say I can't believe I'm going to have a baby that small, but gestational by diabetes I might not. <laughs> baby could be a whopper. And I've also popped some nappy bags in there. And it comes with this little bag, which is where I put a spare baby grow, a tag on there says clothes. I think going forward I might just put the spare clothes loose in the pod and keep this for dirties instead. It's all good and well thinking I'll keep the uh, clean one in here. Um, if I need to change the baby put the dirty one in here but I know that sometimes there's two, three, four, five dirty changes so I need to keep the cleans and dirty separate so yeah I think I'll put the cleans in there and keep this for dirties. And at the back, I've got my wipes. 
got two little pockets in here one for creams and bets which is where i have my mini pot of pseudo cream these are so handy to take out with you instead of lugging the big pots around then the other side is for your hand sanitizers i need to buy some to keep in here i haven't got those yet also the pods unzip all the way around so that you can completely flat pack them if you want to so that's super handy so if the baby needs changing you know you don't have to rummage through the bag to find everything you can literally grab this pod and that has got everything that you need in it which is why i love the packer pod so much it's just so fab having it all handy in its own compartments it's great then we have the feeding compartment Again, this has got the little thing attached in the bag. Feed a pod. Now, there's hardly anything in this one yet. So, so far, all I've got in here is a muslin cloth. It also comes with this insulated bottle sleeve. Now, I've got a little bottle image there, and you just wrap this around your bottle to keep it nice and warm. And this is a cool bag as well. At the moment, yeah, there's only the muslin cloth in there because... I'm hoping to breastfeed this time around, we will see. Last time it didn't work out for us breastfeeding, didn't. So I'm, you know, just gonna play it by ear and see what happens. I'm hoping that, yeah, all I will need to put in there, I've got the muslin cloth, which is going to be wiping bits off baby, covering myself if I feel the need to, but everything, they're just so handy, aren't they? So I'm hoping that I'll just need to add some breast pads and nipple cream in there and hopefully that'll be about all I need. This one I need to put some hand sanitizer in. Probably some more outfits because there's only one in here. Then I think that one's good to go. Main compartment I'm going to need some maternity pads in there. And then just my day-to-day -day stuff, purse keys and all of that. And I think that's me sorted we'll see <laughs> if you think i have forgotten anything drop me a comment down below because well i wouldn't be surprised if i have 